Hello, Jared Gucci here, Mr. Internet Tips. Okay, so I've been asked three times this week if there's any way to see who the people are that are actually clicking on the like button on your website. So in my research to kind of find a way to do that, I wasn't able to find a solution. But in the process, I did find something really, really interesting that will give you the ability to completely dive into all the statistics of Facebook sharing on your website. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to install that on this website here. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to facebook.com forward slash insights. And once you get there, you're going to want to click on this little green button up at the top, insights for your website. A dialog window will pop up asking for the domain name. And this is the address to your website without the HTTP colon slash slash. And then you have the option of who you want the admin to be of that page. I'm just going to keep it uh, Jared Gucci. And then there's some code that it populates below. You're going to want to take that and copy that. And then you're going to want to go into the administrative area of your WordPress website or blog and go into the appearance editor. Once you're in there, you're going to want to look for the header.php file and we will find it right here on the side. We click on that and we're going to want to paste that code that we copied directly above the closing head tag. So I'm just going to paste it in there and I'm going to hit update file. And now I'm going to go back to the insights on Facebook and I'm going to click get insights. So the page will reload and you will now see it in the list of websites that you are pulling insights from. And you simply want to click on view insights and it's going to take you into an area that has very, very detailed analytic screens. And I'm not going to walk through all the options here, but I am going to point out a few things in here. When you first hit this area, you're, you're looking at kind of a snapshot of site engagement, distribution on Facebook, and actually referral traffic generated because of these social plugins. And then over here on the left hand side, you can actually kind of designate which statistic area you want to look at, whether it's the like button, it's organic shares when people are actually sharing a post page or comment on their wall as a status update, or also if you have comments installed on your website or blog, you can go in and look at how many comments and how many of those being shared on Facebook are generating traffic and engagement to your website. The other thing I want to point out is while we are looking at the entire statistics for the whole domain, you can actually isolate a select page by clicking on select page and putting in the URL of the page that you want to get detailed statistics on. The other thing I want to point out is the old domain dashboard. When you click on that, it gives you a different look at the, t at the statistics of your Facebook sharing on your website. And the great thing I love about this screen is it actually gives you a list of the most liked and most shared pages on your website or blog. So this can kind of give you an idea of what people are actually sharing on Facebook and which post, page, or content on your website is really standing out to your audience. So I hope this was helpful. It's, it's really great to have these plugins installed on your website but it's also really great to know if they're working and where the engagement is on your site. If you have any questions, there is detailed instructions below this video that will guide you through the steps of setting this up. And I love answering anything that you may be stuck on. So thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.